Well, welcome to another installment of the Middle Age Minimalist. That would be me. Um, we're day 16. Well, we're two weeks out starting tomorrow morning. So 14 day out for this move. And um, yesterday was 62 degrees here in Colorado. And today it, uh, we're getting an ice storm, which is kind of fun. Came over here today, last night's little video I just shot at the office because I realized I wasn't going to take my clothes back here that were dirty just to do a video in which at the end I was going to take home to take the dry cleaner. That didn't make sense. So you got a little glimpse inside my work. I really don't want to cross the streams with work and this because this is this. And I want to talk about this. I made the comment about your new best friend, of course, be a tape measure, and you don't want to go anywhere without a pad of paper and a pen so you can take notes. So I came back here today. We're in the middle of an ice storm. It's 50 degrees in here. It's actually 47 degrees. Yeah, you can get a little frost, but I had the door open, and I just brought an electric little... That's the whir in the background. Because I wasn't going to turn everything on and load the furnace up just to shoot a 10-minute video. That was That's not minimalism. Now, <clears throat> I've been very lucky. I'm in a job that I love as much as I hate it. It is the career I chose, or chose me, however you want to look at that. But let's talk about the average person. Perhaps someone you know. Perhaps you. Why you came to look at videos like this. So, in theory, talking about taking notes, I started taking some notes about why. Because I had to go into a vast room of the, as I said, movers, shakers, and candlestick makers. Why am I doing this? And again, people can tell you no, but can they tell you yes? You can tell you yes. So, to the average person who works 9 to 5, overtime, mortgage, car insurance, health care, daycare, literally, you, know, you can do all of that. But is that you doing that or because what you think people expect you to do to be what is normal? I've never cared about normal. I don't care about what, I mean, I care about what people think of me and that I'm a good person and I'm not a jerk. But, you know, where am I in the hierarchy? I don't care. Why be a slave to let someone else be your master and get them rich? Find your niche and grow rich. Now, many of these might be cliches, but if it's something to hold on to to help you make the transition like me, I'm taking these notes. I made a comment in a previous video that perception is reality. You can take that good or bad. As you're perceiving, projecting positive energy becomes reality. When you project all the negative funk of this, 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 and this is going to happen, therefore I can't, you've set yourself up to fail. Perception is reality. Security, safety, the opening day of the 2018 Olympiad. Security is mostly an illusion. You think you're secure in a brick and mortar home. You think whatever. But safety is an illusion. As is danger. All the things we were told could happen to us as kids if we do, and you don't get run. Uh, most of the dangers in our world simply don't come to fruition. That doesn't mean to not prepare. I'm not talking about running out into the street in the middle of the dark in black clothing and expecting you to walk through the raindrops. But hyping everything keeping us afraid, keeping us in fear, keeping us un uninformed, and not letting us live our lives. And it's about living. People retire at 65. Okay, so many are living older, but the average is 10 years retirement. And how many times do you hear they retired and they drop dead three weeks later? Because they didn't know what to do. I'm 55. 
let's just argumentatively, I was hired underage. I've been doing this 30 plus years. I have to be that age. I want to be living my life. Now back to brick and mortar. Where did we first get introduced to brick and mortar outside our homes? Kindergarten, school, first grade, I don't care, Montessori, daycare, Sunday school, you call it what you want, but you went to another brick and mortar building. What we learn in school. What we learn in the first couple years is everything we needed to learn. And then we got programmed. But in school, honestly, when did you have the most fun? Was it recess or on a field trip? And if we look at all of this as just a great field trip, imagine how much fun we're going to have. I'm going to get deeper into this story when we come back for part two. I'm your middle-aged minimalist. I'll see you on the dark side of the moon.